Hi, it's Damon Taylor, Director of Kiss the Bride Wedding Directory, and I'm on the phone with Mary Reed from Maryvale Cakes and Crafts. Now, Mary's a wedding cake designer and decorator, and she's here to tell us everything you need to know about your wedding cake. So, welcome, Mary. Hello, Damon. Thank you for the opportunity. That's all right. Now, Mary has a special bonus that you'll share with us towards the end of the call, so make sure you listen all the way through. So, Mary, let's hop right into it. Um, give me the 60-second version of how you became a well-known cake decorator and why you love it so much. Well, I think it's something you belong with. I'm very passionate about uh, cake decorating, and I have been since I was probably 9 or 10. So um, I learnt when I was 16 and I kept going and um, in the last 15 years the, the craft has changed so much that it's now an absolute um, essential thing for me every day. So you love it that much? Yes, I do. Mm. Well, thanks, yes, so, I Mary. Do. Well, that's the 60 second version. I'll, uh, I'll ask you a few more questions along the way. Um, stay on the phone. You're listening to an interview with celebrated cake designer Mary Reed from Maryvale Cakes and Crafts. Uh, stay with us as Mary tells, tells us how uh, to get the best out of your wedding cake. Uh, Mary, when choosing a wedding cake, what kind of questions should I be asking my cake decorator? Well, regardless um, of who your decorator is, it's important that you take along certain information to help the decorator help you get the um, best cake that suits both you and your dreams as well as your budget. So the type of questions are based on what tone do you want the cake to set. For example, you don't have a four-tier classical cake if you're having a beachside wedding. The other question that you need to ask is do you want your cake to be themed along with the invitations and the colours. Uh, the most important questions about the size cake you will need uh, are based around the number of guests, are you having your cake for dessert or for treat, do you want to keep any part of your cake for the first anniversary and are you having uh, what's become known as the morning after cake. So they're the types of questions your, your uh, decorator will need to know and before she can give you a, a quote she will have to uh, come up with some type of design with you. And the design, again, is based around the tone. Do you want something elegant, something informal? Um, how much uh, elaborate work do you want on your cake? So they're the types of things you need to be thinking about before you get to your decorator. All right. And uh, what about price, Mary? Well, every decorator has a different pricing model. Um, and the price is based on the size cake that you need and the amount of decoration that you require. Also involved in price would be do you want the cake delivered. Uh, some decorators have a simpler system. My cakes are priced in a standard range of designs or an elaborate range of designs. So uh, every decorator has worked out a, a pricing model that suits their own business process. But I believe that you can start two tier wedding cakes, uh, the six and ten inch, around the 4 to 460, I think you'll find that's pretty much an industry standard. And the more elaborate wedding cakes for two tiers probably start around the 560. All right, thanks for that, Mary. Uh, you're listening to an interview with celebrated cake designer Mary Reed from Maryvale Cakes and Crafts. Now, Mary, uh, we all have a cake at our wedding, but why? What's the history and significance of a wedding cake? Well, it goes back many years. It um, goes back to the 15, 16 hundreds when um, a couples would get married in the village, all the members of the village would take along leftover dried fruits uh, that the bride's parents would put into what became known as the wedding cake. Uh, and that is why the cutting of the wedding cake symbolises the very first gift that the couple do together. And it is also um, symbolic of the family as such and the community as such contributing to the new married life of the couple. So that's the history. The significance of cutting the cake is the first act that the couple do together that they actually share with their friends. So do we want a cake just as part of history? I think cake is very much part of our, our life and our way of life. And yes, it's the history, but it is also um, a feel-good opportunity. Right. So um, and how much lead time should I allow for a wedding cake then? 
Well, um, wedding cake can be done uh, on a whim uh, and on a small budget or a big budget. So lead time again comes back to is your decorator available for the date you want. It's not necessarily how much time it takes to decorate a cake. But it does um, come back to how much how many other cakes the decorator may have already booked in on the day that, uh, of your wedding. So wherever possible, I'd be getting to your decorator 9 to 12 months out. Uh, that way you can be sure that you're going to get the decorator that uh, you choose. 9 or 12 months? 9 to 12 months ahead. So in the planning process, uh, the wedding cake should be pretty much towards the top then? Well, I, I would consider that. Um, I'm turning uh, brides away because a lot of them have a, uh, are following a, a misconception that you wait until you've got your final uh, numbers from your RSVP before you order your, your wedding cake. Um, what people don't understand is that wedding cakes are a drawing process, require a drawing process, particularly if there's flowers and novelties involved. So um, nine months out is you know, when you choose your decorator, um, you can finalise your design along with um, themes to any other coordinated points that you want, your invitations or flowers, um, and you can take you know, up to four, four months out for that. But uh, you really need to think of the workload and the uh, work process for the decorator. So yeah, anything shorter than six months, it's a case of first thing best dressed. You mentioned novelties and things there, Mary. What are those sorts of things? Um, character figures, sugar figures for bride and groom. Um, a lot of couples like to have their animals on the cakes or their children if they have them. Um, we do cakes uh, that have a theme like um, happiest pigs in mud and might have a, a bride and groom pig sitting on the top in a, in a you know, chocolate pu uh, puddle. Um, we have others where um, two theatre couples uh, had a top hat and cane and a tiara. So, you know, again, trying to um, pull out the personality points of the couple, that's very, very important uh, when they want to have a wedding that's themed around their idiosyncrasies and characteristics, if you can put it that way. I saw a wedding cake the other day that had a photograph and it looked like it was printed on some kind of rice paper. Is that very difficult to do? Um, it's not that it's difficult. Um, it does limit the, the amount of design.